Hello everybody, Lucid Dream Infinity here. My name is Andrew. Uh, what is a lucid dream? A lucid dream is when you are asleep and you are having a dream. And you sort of look up and you look around and you realize, Daha! I'm having a dream right now. This is a dream. So that's what a lucid dream is. I wanted to touch in this video on another very important part of cultivating a lucidity practice which is called the reality check. So first of all, a, a reality check is when you look around your environment and you ask yourself, am I dreaming right now? Is this a dream? And there's there are numerous ways of sort of testing reality to make sure that you're not in a dream. One of the most popular ones is using a watch or a, a, any sort of timekeeping device. If you have a cell phone, that's fine. And what you do is you you look at the time, you check the time on your watch or on your cell phone, right? And then you cover it up with your hand. If you've got a watch on, you look at the time, cover it up with your hand or, you, you know, go like this, whatever. Uh, and you wait a couple seconds and then you check it again and make sure that time is uh, consistent, that time itself is steady. And one of the reasons this is so popular is because many people have realized that clocks and, and uh, watches in dreams uh, don't work correctly, they don't work properly. Uh, and so that's that's one really popular way of checking your reality, right? Using any sort of timekeeping device. Another really useful thing to do is to look at letters or numbers, right? You, I do this with license plates, with random cars, you can do it with signs on billboards or flyers. Any sort of written text will, will do. Uh, what I do is I'll look at the license plate of a car uh, and then I'll look away and look at something else for a couple seconds and then I'll look back at that car or uh, at that license plate and make sure that all of the numbers and letters are the same. So that's another way of doing a, a reality check is sort of uh, noticing the stability of numbers, letters, texts, things like that. So those are two ideas for a reality check. Another popular one that I like is uh, trying to breathe through your nose. If you plug your nose and very gently try to breathe through it. Do this gently, otherwise you might mess up your ears. Uh, that's another good way to check your reality, to see if you're dreaming or not. Uh, and because when you're in a dream, if you do that, you try to plug your nose and, and breathe through it, it's, it's totally possible. I've done it before. So if you do that in, in waking life and you can't do it, that's a good indicator that you're not, uh, that you're, that you're not asleep and that you are, in fact, awake. Um, okay, and another quick note on reality checks. When you do these, you really want to uh, make sure that you're being thorough. You don't want to make this uh, a quick sort of thing. You really want to give it a couple of seconds to kind of absorb and seep in because that makes it more effective as a procedure. So if you're just looking at your watch, cover it up, check it again, just kind of slow down and really raise the question in your awareness am I dreaming right now? So you look at your watch, put your hand over it, look around, just kind of become aware of your physical environment, and then come back to your watch and check the time again and make sure that it's consistent. And then you can conclude, ah, okay, so I am in fact awake right now. Another useful thing to do with reality checks is to uh, carry out in your mind what you would do if you were a, if you were asleep and in a dream and you sort of became lucid so you do a reality check you conclude that you are awake but then in your mind you sort of go over your dream plan and what you would do if you were asleep and in a dream so let's say that i'm doing a reality check right now i check the time right okay I, that's consistent do a quick breath check no i can't breathe through my nose okay but if I were asleep in a dream right now, what would I do? Uh, maybe I would try to fly, right? So I uh, try to, you know, do try to jump up and fly. And um, I'll be going over some other sort of dream control techniques in terms of using the the body to to like physical gestures in the dream state to manifest and do what you want. I'll go over that in a different video. But uh, right now, that's another useful thing to employ when you do a reality check, is to sort of go over your dream plan and in your mind carry out what you would do if you were asleep and dreaming. 
uh, and that'll help you to remember when you are lucid of what you did want to do or what you did want to accomplish. Okay, so <clears throat> moving on from all of this stuff, uh, why why reality checks? Why is it important to do a reality check? I sort of think of reality checks as a kind of mental conditioning or a kind of mental exercise, right? Because uh, you're, what we're doing essentially is we're programming our mind, we're programming our consciousness over and over through uh, this mental repetition that is the reality check to make this a sort of automatic mental habit that we do. And so once we, once we have done this enough in our physical waking lives, then this, this mental habit naturally carries over into the dream state. So after we've been doing reality checks regularly for maybe two or three weeks, we're going to start doing them when we're asleep and having dreams. And so when you're asleep and you're having a dream and this mental habit carries over into the dream state and we do a reality check when we're asleep and dreaming, that's what's going to lead to the aha moment of lucidity and realizing that, oh, wow, I'm asleep and I'm dreaming right now. Oh, okay, cool. So. So that's what that's that's the purpose of the reality check, and in that sense, it's sort of similar to some of the things I said about the dream journal, of sort of uh, integrating our waking conscious awareness into the dream state, and how we with the dream journal we're doing that through cultivating an awareness of what our dreams are like, and the sort of dream themes and the dream signs and the dream patterns that emerge in cultivating that awareness through memory, through remembering what our dreams were. And in, in that sense, we're sort of doing the same thing with the reality check by creating this mental habit that gets ingrained in our minds and in our consciousness. And so when we're asleep and dreaming, that mental habit or that mental pattern will naturally start to occur in our dreams as well, thus making lucidity easier to achieve and more likely to occur. So uh, that is the reality check. It's a very important sort of uh, step in cultivating a lucidity practice. I would recommend doing this uh, maybe anywhere from five, if you can do it up to like 12 times in a day, uh, I, that's, that's, that's a great, wonderful thing to do. In addition to that, uh, there's also a very useful smartphone app for lucid dreaming that reminds you to do reality checks. It's called Lucid Dream Ultimate. I have it on my smartphone. I've got a Galaxy S3. It works wonderfully. You can customize the text that pops up. Uh, so you can say, you know, playful things like, hey, you know, don't be a punk. Do a reality check right now. Or you could, you can have it say anything and then it, it pops up similar to a notification or a text message and you you know, your cell phone vibrates or beeps or whatever and you see it and it reminds you to do a reality check. So that's one great tool. You can download it from the Play Store. I think it's like two or three bucks. Uh, and I highly recommend it. That's a great app. Okay, so more videos to come. Hope this was useful. And I uh, hope you have some fucking awesome lucid dreams.